guys i hope that you're all doing good and keeping safe merry christmas in advance how are you doing let me get to know in the comment section how your christmas is looking like how it's going what are your plans for me <laughs> i don't have plans yet so in today's video i want to um deep clean my baby's room starting from the bed i want to remove everything the macintosh the bed sheet the coat bumpers covers the mosquito net i want uh, to have them cleaned and uh, i still want to declutter his uh, wardrobe and uh, remove the clothes that are small <laughs> for him so that he can see actually the number of clothes that we have because uh, these wardrobes are full these cabinets are full of clothes and literally the baby is not even using the clothes so yeah guys so i want to start with the bed then i remove the or we start with removing the mosquito nets then the beddings and everything guys then we keep going right <laughs> kindly motivate me motivate me right there right there in the comment section because what me sometimes i'm demotivated and I just have to motivate myself to have some things done. Okay, guys? So, let's get into this. I'm walking alone in the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me by putting the <laughs> the camera for the monitor off then I uh, remove the charger and next thing let me remove the beddings so I'm starting with this um, sleeping bag this one is clean Honestly, uh, I replaced it yesterday and I still have the other one. Yeah, and I still have the other one clean right here. So for the sleeping bag, I won't be having it cleaned because it is clean and it will take like maybe two to three days before it dries. So. I'll not be washing the sleeping bag. Guys, do you remember this bag? The one that I showed you in a certain haul that I did. It has been so good, especially uh, with covering the baby's chest. It has been doing an amazing job. There are some people who are asking in the comment section whether it is actually really good to use um, pillow on your baby. Guys, look at this pillow. It has been made purposely for the baby. Look at it. It is so soft. So, so soft. It has been made for the baby. And always remember that um, <laughs> babies don't have characteristics of an egg. Like, they are not that weak. They are not fragile. They are just human beings who are very tiny. But they come into this world ready. Ready. Ready, guys, for anything. So, this pillow can't break your baby's neck. Look at the the width it's so small and very comfortable because it really helps your baby have a very peaceful sleep so for me this is how i normally use it i love to get sleeping bags that have um a hood then at the back i normally put it at the back like this then lay it on bed like that so the baby sleeps and that's how i cover the baby then put a very a shawl just on top and that's enough for the baby the baby will be warm the baby won't be like struggling with uh, cold at night yeah and my baby enjoys it he enjoys it so for those people who are asking in the comment section whether 
it is really good to use pillow on your baby just know that it is really nice you can even search online or even ask your doctor or pediatrician and just use the right pillow definitely if you use a grown-up's pillow on your baby it's not fair like if you use this big pillow on your baby mm -mm. <laughs> the, for the person who's who was saying that they think that the pillow can hurt the baby's neck just know that babies are not weak uh we were told by the nurse uh, uh from the hospital that i delivered at nairobi hospital that the babies don't have characteristics of an egg they are not fragile like eggs in such a way that if you use a baby's pillow the neck will hurt they are human beings who come into this world packaged to face anything okay so for the pillow i will be washing the pillow cover this is the kind of pillow that i'm taking I'm telling you about guys this one can't break your baby's head so use the right pillow on your baby so we'll have this washed um i have the sausage pillows my camera is not focusing hi <laughs> it has focus so i have these two sausage pillows so um for example when the baby if the baby is sleeping on his side i love to put this pillow on his back and this other one in or in front so that um it can support the baby you know sometimes especially when you have a very newborn they normally have reflexes guys and the baby can just you know just just you know you know what i mean if you have ever been a mom so i love to i have been using these sausage pillows since the baby was born so for those who are asking about using pillows on your baby imagine it just gives your baby comfort just comfort you know even when i was pregnant i used to have a pillow that was like a sausage like but it was like it had this this c pillow if you are you have ever been pregnant and used that pillow you know what i'm talking about the maternity pillows that pillow used to support my back so well and that's why i decided to get a coat bumper that has this sausage pillow so that i can have my baby's back supported you know you know what i mean because the sleep gets sweeter <laughs> if you know what i'm talking about so <clears throat> sorry i'm removing the sausage pillow covers so that they can be cleaned too yes uh i have this flannel right here that i also love to use on his bed it will be cleaned <laughs> i don't know what this cloth what this cloth is doing on his bed because it's even small i don't know i don't know honestly i don't know okay um this is the baby's marking tosh the one that i love to put on his bed because i i enjoy sometimes changing the diapers from his bed you know because it's not cold it's more convenient imagine at night removing the baby from bed then put him on the changing station just for diaper change for me <laughs> um, for me no so sometimes i just change the diapers from his bed and i love to have this marking touch because if the baby has messed up like sometimes they poop and it penetrates to the clothes at the back so if it gets on the marking tosh this thing you just wipe and it is clean you just wipe with clean with um a clean towel that has water then you can use the wipes to sanitize and it will be clean it will be clean guys so i love to use this marking tosh this marking tosh it is a very essential thing that i have been using for the baby so soon i will tell you about the newborn essentials that i actually use almost everything that i bought guys i have been using i have been using i'm not even lying to you guys uh let's get to coat bumpers <laughs> guys these coat bumpers don't fit the upper part of the bed but trust you me my baby when he will be like at least six months once my baby starts sitting uh when he will learn her on how to sit guys i will move him to the lower part of the bed and i'm so sure that these bumpers will be gorgeous on the bed right now they just don't look so good but 
they serve the purpose that's what that matters and with that note guys if you have not liked my videos kindly give them thumbs, thumbs up guys subscribe share 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 and let us have this thing done we will fly above the sky We are heroes tonight yeah. We are heroes tonight We will fly above the sky We are heroes tonight So I have removed the coat bumpers let me remove these covers <laughs> the other day we we were betting with my hubby because i was arguing that there's no way that you can have these bumpers removed from these these covers removed from these bumpers and my hubby was telling me that there is a way he was actually telling me that you just remove them like this and you just remove the inner sponge Just remove the inner sponge and remove the covers <laughs> you know guys i can't remember the last time i did this and happy told me that he has been doing it because when i was pregnant he's the one what after we bought these uh coat bumpers he's the one who was um doing the cleaning because we didn't have a nanny and i was so heavily pregnant so he washed almost all the newborn's clothes although there are some that i gave to my cleaning lady to wash but we really enjoyed doing the cleaning we really enjoyed doing the cleaning we really enjoyed so for me i was telling him that there is no way and he was like there's a way i did it i have been doing it so here i am doing it so he he won the bet he won the bet actually Here are the coat bumpers covers, soft like pillow covers, like bed sheets, cotton like. It will be washed. I will remove this one too later. So for the mattress, I have removed it, we are washing the mattress cover. The mattress cover. And then I'll be removing this mattress outside to air, although I did not remove the <laughs> the paper after I bought my my baby's mattress but again actually I have just noticed that the mattress has the the Macintosh material that Macintosh thing like it can't penetrate anything why did I even not see them I think I was so pregnant I couldn't even see like let me bring it closer guys I don't know whether you guys can see the material like I don't even know why <laughs> I kept this mattress with this paper what what you know guys I have not been doing some home chores because you are advised to have rest after delivery because of healing even internally actually the advice for like six months but now that I have actually even resumed back to work I feel more energetic to do more at home. Whoa! I didn't 
know that this mattress is waterproof yo <laughs> it is a light duty baby coat um mattress i love it so let me take this mattress outside for airing and then have all these um baby beddings washed oh, i have i have forgotten to remove the mosquito net let me remove it ready to explore right up in the sky i need you to listen i need you to hear and don't show things washed the beddings and then we come back wipe the bed have it dusted off and we come and declutter the wardrobe and my baby's room will be clean okay guys let's do that especially the bedding um, let me unhang them then we go to the bedroom and uh, <laughs> return the bed just the way we found it right and then from there we will be decluttering his uh, wardrobe okay so let's do that
just unhand the beddings because um, the others are yet to dry like completely. I love to dry to unhang my baby's clothes when they are super dry because sometimes if you unhang them and they are quite wet, you know, I don't know, I don't think it's better. So let's go upstairs and uh, make that bed and declutter his wardrobe and clean that room. Let's go guys. before I make the bed I want to wipe his bed I know it's quite dusty and then um, sanitize I have these um, I have these wipes I know they will really help so let me do that <music> So guys, I was quite surprised about this uh, baby's camera because this is where we have mounted it. <laughs> and it had fallen off right here and I did not do that. So that means that it fell, it fell off. So gosh, I think I have seen this rubber. I think I have used this rubber to mount this um, camera right here. It's a baby's camera. And I didn't know so for a minute I was scared because where well, I don't have money I don't have money to buy another monitor guys I, we bought this thing at 10,000 and it was on a discount so while shipping it it's at 20k without the discounts you know so you can imagine <laughs> let's even say that it has a discount out of nowhere buying a monitor no it's not in the budget then it was in my budget but for now nope so actually let me check whether it will function let me see oh. let me see whether he actually destroyed it let's pray that it is still good and okay guys because wow you see the blue color but I, I don't know whether you guys are able to see that yeah that blue that blue color that shows that it is on so let me put on the monitor yeah things are good okay that's me can you see me in the camera the camera is taking my face and this is the monitor <laughs> the technology guys anyway let me make the baby's bed real quick then uh, then we will be good then declutter this wardrobe very quickly actually very quickly actually see where the table is these flannels we will, we will sort these guys so without taking too much time let's clean this bed very quickly I will be using these soft care with wipes because they have um, they have 
like uh, sanitizer in them. bacteria on the bed at least it will wipe off So this board, um, we will move it. We will remove it once the baby goes to the lower part of the bed. We will just remove this board, and that's how the baby cot will be looking like, like that. I can't wait for my baby to start sitting. Immediately he starts sitting down. He's going to the lower part of the bed so that he don't just jump out of the bed. So. He will be sleeping down here and I will lock in here up here like this okay guys
returning the boot for the upper part of the bed. have to confirm that it is actually okay so that my baby doesn't fall so from here um, I'm adding the mattress the mattress is here so clean you guys by the way I aired it out as I told you I don't know where I've been putting the Macintosh on top of the this mattress all, al all along look at this mattress guys it is from Bob Mill and you guys, do you know Bob Mill, our, our, our partners at work? I didn't even know that they produce mattresses. So, like, um, look at this um, mattress. The cover of the mattress can't, like, penetrate the urine or anything. So I've been using marking tosh. I don't even know why. So from now, henceforth, I'm not returning the marking tosh on this mattress. So let me also wipe it with the wipes. So that in case there is any bacteria or any dirt, it can collect. So let's do this. I'm using the wipes. actually clean very clean guys there's no dirt there's no dirt at all it's so clean But in case there was any bacteria, I'm happy to do it with this wipe. So from now, let me do the mattress cover. Or before then, let me use this liner to dry it. The, if the wipes have um, have just uh, made the mattress quite wet, you know they are wet. <laughs> so let me just wipe with this baby wipe, baby's liner, so that it can collect any wetness or any wetness that was on the wipe. to the mattress cover. Look at it. 
Wow, 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 wow. Hey. Uh, let me return the sausage pillows. Sausage pillows. Guys, when I was pregnant, I was using sausage pillows on my bed. And let me tell you, the comfort that I was getting, I just love to make my baby sleep with this pillow, especially when uh, the baby is sleeping on his side. Because, you know, he's still small, the bones are not strong. So when he's sleeping on his side, and then I support the back with this pillow like this, like... The camera is not focusing. Wait, wait, wait. Good. So let's say this is the pillow at his back and then it is support him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So for those who are asking whether it's good to use pillows for your baby, it depends on how you're using, the kind of pillow that you're using. This one is so soft. It can't even hurt the baby's neck. There's someone who was saying that they imagine that the pillows can hurt the baby's neck. No, it can't. Babies don't have, even a, a one-day newborn, they come into this world very good. They don't have characteristics of a neck. A pillow just makes your baby be comfortable and sleeping, you know. So buy the right pillow. <laughs> buy the right pillow if you want, but if you still don't want to use a pillow, as long as you're a happy mom, just go for it. Just do it. Just just make your baby sleep without the pillow. It is still good if it will make the mom happy. You see these two pillows? I normally put one right there and another one here. And the head pillow is here. On this upper side, like this. So the baby sleeps uh, in here puts his head over here so just over here this is where i normally put the pillows yeah from where the armpits are so that they don't block his face you know so it supports the front and the back so if the baby want to lean at the back he's supported by this sausage pillow and it makes his sleep more comfortable okay guys so from there, I want to put this um, this sleeping sleeping pocket. My baby sleeps with this pocket. I also saw some comments people saying that um, it is not used. You know, people normally have different experiences. Um, the babies are different. You know, but for me, I really love to use it because it covers the baby on the chest more and it makes the baby more warmer. And I don't love to swallow my baby so much because he sleeps in his own nursery. I'm not in here. And and I can't just swallow the baby up to the, you know, to the chest and neck and all. Because, you know, sometimes baby babies play with their hands and they can get to cover their face so if you're sleeping with your baby maybe if you're using the same bed maybe there's no need for the sleeping bag but if the baby is sleeping independently i recommend highly recommend highly recommend so that your baby remains warm 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 you see as i was telling you that's the pillow behind the hood so it's like this and then I just make the baby look at this pillow so small and then I just make the baby enter in here then this is how let's assume this is the baby the baby's head is here this is the neck so this is where let me let me bring the camera closer so this is how the sleeping pocket is looking like um, the pillow is here, the head pillow very small. So I put it at the back of the hood, like this. So that's how it is. And it is so soft. And then, so let's assume that this is the baby. 
so the baby is sleeping the neck is over here and then i just put this um part of the pocket on top of the baby's chest so it is covering up to the neck area then i zip this sleeping bag like this and then the baby's hands are out um i'm just doing this for those people who may not know how to exactly use the bag because if you even don't know how to use it you may not it may not be comfortable for your baby so the baby's hands are out and that's how the baby will sleep so you can put his neck on side yeah but nowadays my baby is moving his neck so he can, sometimes you can make his head like face on this side and then he turns it to the other side so i don't know but he's good so you see this part it covers the baby's chest and the legs are so warm in here so what i normally do let me look for a shawl and demonstrate for you guys what i normally do this is the baby's shawl i normally i'll buy i'll buy him a duvet soon once he starts sleeping on the lower side that means that the baby will be big so this is how i normally do it i cover the baby halfway i cover the baby halfway like this to make him extra warm and that's enough the baby don't overheat making him to get the rashes and all so that's how the baby sleeps so if the baby is sleeping on his side i normally put the sausage pillow right here from the hands down here supporting his back and this other one over here you see and the head pillow is here so that's how my baby sleeps actually i believe his bed looking like that okay guys so that's it for the shawl i will just fold it and put it right there so that's how the bed is actually looking like yeah so let me put the coat bumpers i can't wait to move to the lower part of the bed because the bumpers will look so cute on them so that's how it's looking like um let me put the let me return this other bumper on this um cover <laughs> i hope i will be able
let's uh, connect these mosquito nets. So guys, I have uh, the hubby has connected the mosquito nets. I'm laughing because just before he left, he has told me, "Do all that work, but don't come to me saying that you are tired." <laughs> but don't come to me saying that you are tired. And then I was like, "How do you expect me to do this and then not come to you saying that I'm tired?" In short, he don't want me to do it. But who is me? As in. I have to do it. I am the mother here. <laughs> I am the mother here, right? Yeah, I am the mother. So we are done with the bed. That's how it's actually looking like. Okay. So that's it. Um, for now, let us declutter this wardrobe get um the small clothes out yeah let's do that so let's start with this cabinet hmm. in this cabinet i have nothing to declutter but i need to organize it well 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 I need to organize it. I'm checking. Oh, it's recording. I really use them until to death. The baby's hats. Mayton. And then I have two liners. I think all others are outside drying or they are dirty. done with that cabinet let's come to this other one <laughs> so i will declutter as i put the the clothes that i'm decluttering in this uh, basket the small ones this one is still big this one is, will still fit the boy, so I will fold them so that I can arrange them. This one is still big. Still big. This 
this is a vest all the vests are big i actually bought big vests so that the baby can wear them for the longest time this one is still big why is my dress folding folding i know <laughs> so vests another vest still big or fitting the baby he will actually wear these vests until when he will be like a full year old and maybe more because they stretch a vest a t-shirt still fitting the baby when did even these clothes mix let me tell you guys what happens uh, my nanny <laughs> unhangs my baby's clothes sometimes she will put the clothes downstairs with this basket when they are folded because maybe sometimes the baby is sleeping and she don't want to wake up the baby and what does my husband do uh, <laughs> after he has come home from work sometimes you will find him um, coming to arrange the clothes and he will mix everything guys let me tell you the whole truth my hubby mixes all the clothes like right now you're finding you see these are the cleaning materials for the clothes they are in the cabinet for vests some t-shirts are in this cabinet the onesies are still in this cabinet so i'm like but i appreciate the help so i will not even complain <laughs> I am not even complaining, guys. So this one is still, this one is small. This one is small. Yeah, I don't even have so many clothes to declutter. Okay. Let's see. This one is so tiny. Guys, look at this. So tiny. That one I'm letting go. This one he has not, he has never worn. Let me see whether he, it can fit him. I think it can. I think it can. This is a shirt. is a shirt let me put it on the bed a t-shirt still fitting the boy mm -mm, this is so tiny this one actually here my camera has is not focusing this one actually it no longer fits the baby actually never got to wear this uh shirts <laughs> This is so tiny too, guys. This is so tiny too. The clothes are inside out, so you may not be able to see the color of the clothes. This is a yellow one. It can't fit the baby anymore. Oh gosh, look at this. So tiny. But I thank God my baby got to wear this one. Gosh, he has really grown. Imagine my baby wore this tee. <laughs> and right now, he's wearing these big t-shirts. These ones. Hiya. They grow so fast, guys. Um, this one is uh, not so bad. Not so bad, but just fitting. Mm. This one. Let me just declutter it because I know it will be so tight for the baby. This one is so small. Baby has outgrown this tea. It's a t shirt, too. He has also outgrown this one. Small one. This is this is a small one because of the length, not because of the body. A small one, too. Look at this, guys. He has outgrown this one. Uh, this is a uh, vest. This is a t-shirt. It is um, it has gotten it has become small for the baby. Small. 
<laughs> oh my god i can't even believe that my baby was wearing you know i have been seeing like my baby has been big all along but he was wearing this t-shirt right now he can't guys it is too small uh this one is small too he never got to wear this because it's a collar one for me so like it wasn't so comfortable for the baby and it is a newborn cloth he never got to wear that This one he can still wear, but it's it's kind of tight. I have a big boy. <laughs> he fits so well. They call the milk that I pump, he fits on it. It's not even a joke, it's a, this is a vest. So I am done with that cabinet. So I will put the vests and t-shirts. No, these are onesies on this cabinet let's get to this cabinet and see what is in here oh i have this romper it is still fitting the baby still fitting the baby this onesie he never got to wear it because of the long sleeved hands i was struggling with pulling the baby's small hand from uh, this end and my baby is crying let me check So guys let me attend to the baby i will be back in a few <laughs> i have sorted i have sorted guys he is now cool what sometimes it is he's with daddy he will be good <laughs> let me tell you mother's instincts like you can't just stay somewhere you know hearing your baby crying no you will just rush You'll just go and see what is happening. You imagine, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. But when your baby is crying, you will definitely go running and find out what is happening. Anyway, he just woke up and he wasn't ready to wake up. So he had to cry. Ah, oh, this one is still fitting. This one is small. This one is small. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. I think it can fit the baby. I have actually never dressed my baby this uh, romper because of the legs down here. But I will do it. I will do it. If it is small, I will. I will declutter it. But for now, let it be there. Uh, this one is still fitting it's still big still big still big this one is still fitting him it is a pink one it has like pink florals and blue ones so it is unisex but it is more dominated with pink more dominated with pink This one he's still wearing. Now guys, let me tell you, this is <laughs> being the first time mom. You see this romper, it doesn't have any zip or any snaps. Look at it. So how do you even like change the diaper? This is one of the newborn essentials that I regret buying. Honestly, look at it. No zip, no snaps. But it is open on the upper side. I don't know. Being a first time mom, next time I'm not doing that again. So I'm decluttering that very fast. 
you will still have this one this one can fit him it, it is a, a polka dot one black and white black and white hey being a fast my a first time mom, it has its own <laughs> it has its own good side actually oh gosh i miss shopping for my baby gosh the way i was doing it hey, hey i miss those moments guys imagine they are no longer there if you are pregnant let me tell you god willing this one the baby has never worn because why should he wear an official shirt and sleep in it really <laughs> let me just keep it maybe it will fit him in future guys what was i telling you i was telling you yes if you're pregnant imagine soon you will not be pregnant you will stop being pregnant soon like you will deliver your baby so soon and god will help you i meant that and this is a t-shirt you see the way the clothes are mixed that's my husband's work it is him literally it is him 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 like you will deliver your baby so soon so soon and forget about it you can't forget about it that's a lie that's a lie <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie it is a very big lie you won't forget but you will soon stop being pregnant by the way guys enjoy your baby bumps very fast as in very good in a span of nine months the bump will be like gone gone <laughs> i miss my baby bump honestly i do i do i do because of the last days guys what i was watching my baby hauls and i was like so guys there's this thing that i bought if you're pregnant let me get to know whether you una hema hema. <laughs> yeah, it is interesting anyway it is so interesting it is so interesting what and then my stomach was big wow Aki, I honestly miss my baby bump. I remember me applying the sheer butter to prevent stretch marks. Yo, I got some few stretch marks. I won't come here and lie to you guys that, oh, my stomach is as plain as what. Guys, it has some few stretch marks. It has. It has. <laughs> it has some stretch marks. And I used sheer butter from the one of being pregnant. Mm. And I still got these are some onesies. I'm yet to finish with them. We go to this other cabinet. Let me tell you guys. I did the self-care. I used the sheer butter and I still got the stretch marks. Hi, I thought I don't have the wrong person. I think I have a number. I think I have a number of them. Hmm. I got the stretch marks. Let me get to know for those moms who have delivered. Let me get to know whether you used this, the, all those products for stretch marks, and whether you still got the stretch marks. Let me get to know. Next time, I won't even. Okay, I will still use. It's good. It, Self care makes someone feel kind of energetic, good cute <laughs> and all maybe i could have gotten worst stretch marks let me tell you what happened just a day before i went to deliver my baby is it a day or a week let's say let's talk of a week i went in front of the mirror guys and i looked at my belly my baby bump hey, the stretch marks that i saw guys they were not many but was like yes they are here they are so visible <laughs> especially on the lower side of the uh of the belly <coughs> <coughs> wow this romper is is a bit dusty
Gosh, can you mind not decluttered my clothes? Can you my baby? Can you all these clothes are fitting my baby? I never thought. He actually has a good number of rompers that are fitting him. Mm, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there are these small sweaters that I bought. I didn't do the whole. This one. Uh, this one. Small ones. And uh, another one here, guys. I bought for him this one and another yellow one that is outside drying. So I'll come actually let me put these ones here. I will come to that cabinet and fold them. Let's continue with this cabinet. Oh this onesie is still big. He will keep wearing it. This one is big still. Right now he has strong hands. He will do the long sleeve ones. This is so tiny, so small. Look at it. Okay, it's long, but not so stretchy. I think not so bad, not so bad, not so bad, guys. Not so bad. Let it be there. <laughs> Look at this. So small, so small. So guys, the battery died and I had to charge the camera. Meanwhile, I did the folding offline. So here I have the self-care products for the baby. Epimax, Remis, Cushions, um, Baby, and the Cushions Soap. Uh, I still have the clinic book and the self-care kit in here. I want to add the things that I'm archiving for my baby <laughs> in here. So there are some of these um, baby essentials that I really loved. I was in love with them and I can't get rid of them. I have this uh, pump that stopped working for no reason. So I'll keep it in, in the baby's archive and this monitor. Um, it is still working, but the baby ought to grieve this, <laughs> and I'm so, so much passionate about these two things, because when I delivered my baby, this pump really helped me to pump. I, had, I, I wasn't planning to, do, to be doing the pumping, I was planning to like be breastfeeding the baby directly, and then um, when I delivered to my baby, uh, my baby never was not feeding well through direct breastfeeding and he used to cry a lot i don't know why but he used to feed well with the feeding bottle so for those who come in the comment section asking me why don't you breastfeed your baby directly i always tell you do what works for you best do what works best for you and for the baby you know so if direct breastfeeding is working for you just do it if the feeding bottle is working for you just do it because by the end of the day we want to feed the baby and make the baby happy so if the feeding bottle makes him happy why not if direct breastfeeding makes your baby happy why not so for those people like one two three people who normally ask why i love to feed the baby pumped milk through the feeding bottle I have answered you yeah so always do what works best for you babies are different and just be a happy mom you are doing your you are doing a great job you're doing a great job if you don't have breast milk and you're feeding your baby formula because you simply can't produce milk I know people will come to you telling you why are you feeding your baby formula but what will you do will you keep the baby hungry Will you? No. So, do what works for you. So, this um, white noise machine and the pump, I'm keeping them right here, is an archive. Okay? So, I've put the rompers in here. I have put the small things like bibs, mittens, washing clothes there, the towels shawls sleeping bags and flannels in here um uh, 
vest t-shirts and onesie i have very few onesie oh my god i, need, I didn't know i have the sweaters here the big clothes now guys the funny thing is you see these six cabinets they are empty they are empty because oh i have stockings in this all these stockings are fitting the baby still so i have stockings in that cabinet this one is empty this one is empty simply because i have decluttered the clothes so these are all the clothes that i have decluttered all these imagine all these so there are those people that i promised uh, these clothes um i'm sorry for doing it late it is simply because i knew that this room needed work to declutter all these clothes so i will get back to you on the dm we organize on how i'll be sending them to you so yeah i will not keep them because next time when i get another baby god willing i hope that and pray that god will provide for me and get new ones these are drift clothes you go get them at a hundred bob so i'm just saying that i will keep these clothes because i don't know how the future will look like that is prophesying bad things to yourself so i want god to bless me i want to give out so that god can bless me and next one and next time get some fresh clothes for my baby even new ones it's not a must i do the thrifted ones you know what i mean so yeah i i, I am manifesting good things <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so these are all the clothes there are quite many quite many guys very many actually so if i promised you when we did the giveaway on my instagram i will come back to you we plan organize and get them sent to you so that tells me that i still need to do some more shopping i think i need more onesies um rompers I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. I'm not adding more. Let him use this. In case it gets, they become small, I will add more. Sweaters are enough. I learned a lesson. I'm not doing so many newborns clothes. Imagine these are all newborns clothes. All these, like literally. Newborns. Newborns, guys. So for now... I want to now do the cleaning for this bathing station. The the this uh, basin and this station that I normally use as uh, as my table. <laughs> Place my things over here. So what I want to do is sanitize this. Um, This station that I normally use to place my things there. Oh, there's this thing that I was given during my baby shower. Mom to be one. Let me just put it here as an archive. I will not be. Uh, I'll, I'll not be decluttering it. So let me. That's how I normally maintain the hygiene for it. I normally wipe it using these wipes that have an antibacterial thing and make sure that it is clean so that's what i am doing right now so i'm wiping it and make sure that it is clean wiping it and uh, make sure that it is clean is a nice one this basin is clean but i want to let me first of all try it using a liner then sanitize it with the wipes so let me get um and sanitize it let me wipe these turns
Let me sanitize like this. Thing that supports the baby. So <laughs> let me wash this room actually and then I'll be done for today. The window I will wipe it next week for today. I'm not dealing with it because I know it's quite dusty. So for now, because the bed is okay, all the tops are okay. Let me also wipe the top of the uh, wardrobe. it guys um, for now let me wash the floor let me return this thing on that corner guys that's how the floor is looking like like that part is so messy everything that i have used all the wipes that i have used the paper that i removed from the mattress i have the mop over there so let me do the cleaning for the room
I'm using this way it's also to wipe the door and the handles. Let me do a real quick um, groceries haul. As always, I will start with the cereal. Um, there are some black beans that I have restocked. Uh, wow, <laughs> I don't know the name of these cereals, but they are they they are 
green in color. Um, I have the wool. Let me put them in the jars as I do the haul. I have the black butter beans. These are the, I think, the green beans. Wow, I can't even read this name, but they have a name. But they are green in color, they are so sweet. I tried them. This is the second time that I'm using them. Hair. they really help especially if you're a breastfeeding mom they help you produce more milk Commander, There is rice. kilos six kgs so the others will will um i will store them in the bags the khaki bags um There is a uh, wheat flour. Bought three bags. 
but um as in three two kg packets but my containers are carrying just two kgs so the rest i will keep them in bags so as i finish to consume this i will be like adding So this is another part. And this is another one. Nowadays we cook a lot of chapatis of which <laughs> I think it will just make people add weight in this house. But we will try and minimize. So um, there is this uh, wheat, not wheat, but maize flour. So I have bought two bags. So my container is carrying one. Then. Uh, The other one, I'll definitely store it in the pantry with this bag. Um, more cereals. I have some white beans here. <laughs> with this cut paper I have a uh, dingo green the green lentil Have these containers for storing my cereals i think i will have to add more as time goes by yeah i will add more definitely i will add more definitely uh, more cereals I have the red beans. Red beans too. We we eat a lot of red beans, especially in stews, and also when cooking together with the white beans. They make a very good stew. Um, I have also uh, bought these prepared meat. Like, uh, they're just ready for cooking, they are the soft ones, just one can. I think it's a kilo or half. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let's get to groceries, especially the vegetables. There are these uh, French beans right here. Some uh, kills on my wiki. Um, and spinach. The rest are here, so I will not unpack everything. I have the cabbages. 
bought them at 40 bob each so i got four these are some of the vegetables that i do restock um on weekly basis have the tomatoes I will wash and then uh, organize them in the fridge so that uh, they can last us for the whole month I have restocked milk in liters like this is one liter I will store them in the freezer then um, I'll be using one in a day Give more milk more milk my, my space is getting small the lomas for weekly use potatoes and sweet potatoes definitely I've just seen that this one has spoiled like for the quarter part <laughs> but what was I doing in the market I have uh, restocked my cooking oil this 5 liter one um, right now the price has reduced so I am using this for chapatis and all the cookings at home there is this sugar but definitely not a lot it is 2 kg because of when taking the tea with milk, we don't use sugar, but for strong tea, especially for me when taking my lactation tea, I consume a lot of sugar, but I will check on that. I'm trying to avoid sugar as much as I can. Um, I have uh, tea, tea bags, cocoa because of breastfeeding um, salt super brights for washing utensils colligates uh -huh, what else restocked carrots 100 bob uh, minji over here huh? monitor uh, minji and uh, onions I have bought the ones that cost um, for each so number for whole month for toiletries toiletries have um restocked the tiara tissue diapers for the baby wipes for the baby Um, the powder soap, my shower gel, trying uh, 
a new shower gel Yenbu body wash it's a honey and milk extra moisturizing i hope that it will really make me happy and then this bath soap yeah other things that i have bought are my self-care products but um they are not here they are upstairs so that's it for the haul guys uh, from here i just want to go and organize them in my pantry that is the kitchen for the greens they will be cut into small pieces we put in the fridge bags then we store them in the fridge uh for tomatoes we will wash them then uh, wa store them in the fridge bags they don't have a very big fridge so we store them in there yeah for the cereals we boil them as i always tell you with coca that reminds me that i have forgotten to restore my cocoa so i'll do that maybe tomorrow yeah guys so that's it for the groceries haul from now i want to head out to my kitchen go and make an amazing dinner for my family yes today is on a sunday it's my it's an off day for my house help yes yeah, so i'll take over to the kitchen and do it she would have done it but i just want to do it so that she can also relax and uh, feel how it feels to be served right so let's go to the kitchen so guys before we go to the kitchen and uh, make dinner uh, there's some laundry that is uh, over here and i want to do the full day yeah let me get to know in the comment section whether you really enjoy doing the folding of clothes for me i honestly love folding clothes but i don't like washing clothes <laughs> let me get to know whether you love like doing the laundry or you normally enjoy folding or you don't actually love both or you love both let me get to know in the comment section for me <laughs> For me, I enjoy folding, but washing, I don't, but I, I try my best. I try my best. I really do. Anyway, I hope that you had a great week. Same here. I really thank God for the great week. And uh, he will always be a faithful God. I normally say that just believe in God, try your best, and He will do the rest. I'm an IJ. <laughs> yeah, you try your best, work hard, and God will do the rest. He's a faithful God, a very faithful one, indeed. A very faithful one. A very faithful one A very faithful God A very faithful God oh. Which song is that? Which song is that? <laughs> A very faithful God what am I singing? Okay, as long as there's that tune. <laughs> as long as there's content to sing. Anyway. Anyway, guys. Uh, today we are cooking some jahe and chapati. We will be doing that together with my nanny. So she will be preparing um, chapatis and on my end some jahe stew. And that will be it for the dinner that will be it for dinner and uh, it will be a nice one my nanny really makes very sweet chapatis she actually cooks so well i love her food yeah Let me get to know which dish you love to prepare in the comment section. For me, I enjoy making rice, 
um, breakfast mostly, um, cereals. Nowadays I have also fallen in love with cooking mbozi. Yeah, especially just dry fly. Dry fly? <laughs> dry fry. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> ignore that. Just ignore. Just just ignore. Ignore that you did it here. Just ignore. Ignore that. Please do. Ignore that. So that's it guys for the laundry that's how it's looking like that's how it's looking like so for now let's go downstairs go to kitchen and uh, make some dinner so as i have told you guys i'm boiling the the jahe using the cocoa i don't do i don't use gas because the economy <laughs> Tell you guys, wow, Kenyan economy. Although it's getting better, it's getting better somehow. Well, is kind of low, so I think we'll have to refill. Now, I'm take to take a Maputa. Now, I'm going to take a two juicy juicy. looking for some carrots <laughs> this is where they are I don't know where we have not like stored them in the fridge but they are not even many so let me get some carrots some onions and some kitungu so that we prepare I think these ones will be enough Yeah, 
and some onions. Two will be enough. I don't know why I normally use two onions when cooking. Even if they are small or bigger, you just use two. I don't know why. How many onions do you use, especially when cooking just one, one meal, if it's two or a veg? For me, I use two. I think it's just a habit. been looking on this knife for the last one minute <laughs> so let's uh, prep the ingredients for this too No time for me. I've been flying from town to town. 